Well, let's talk to uh, Dr. Brian McCloskey, who was the Director of Global Health for Public Health England and uh, at Chatham House. Um, first of all, a third case in the UK, as we've just reported. Should we be concerned? I guess this is inevitable, isn't it? It is, yes. This doesn't really change the risk as we see. We always expected there would be more cases. I'm, I'm sure there'll be more after this. It doesn't change the risk to the people in the UK. Evacuations, quarantine, is, is this the, the, the right way to deal with something like this? Well, to some extent, we don't know because this is unprecedented. No country has ever tried to do something on this scale before. So we hope it will be successful. Uh, it's a very brave effort to do it, um, but we won't know for a while yet. Your experience was Ebola. You worked extensively on the um, Ebola response. From your experience, would you be doing anything uh, differently to respond to this coronavirus outbreak? No, I don't think so. I mean, the two diseases are very different, obviously, but the main principles of trying to stop an outbreak are the same, and we're seeing that in action from WHO, the World Health Organization. And in particular, what we've seen now is a much faster response in terms of developing potentially a vaccine, potentially new drugs, which took years before, but we already have a vaccine candidate ready for testing in this disease. So it's going much faster, the response, than we've seen before. You, you say it's going much faster. Are you saying you're quite satisfied with, with the way the WHO is, is responding and how countries who are affected are, are coping? I, I am. WHO is doing a very good job, I think, and they're getting very good cooperation with China, which is good. Um, I think some of the reaction um, in terms of closing down borders is perhaps not quite the best way to do it at the moment. That creates its own problems. But in general, the way in which information has been shared, the way in which the international community is looking to develop new products and vaccines, that's going very well and much better than we've seen in the past. I know this is a really difficult question, but very roughly, um, how long will it take to rush out this vaccine if indeed it is successful? Are we talking weeks, months? Uh, it, it's almost impossible to say because it depends on the clinical trials, but they're talking about having it available within this year. And that's compared to you know, 10 years to do a vaccine before this. Um, so I mean, we can't predict how the clinical trials would go, um, but it's really remarkably fast. And ju just another question, and I'm guessing this is another impossible question to answer. When are we looking at peak outbreak? I mean, is there a point in the coming weeks when the medical establishment around the world can say, that's it, we're over the worst? Uh, it is impossible to say, but if we compare it with other similar things, I mean, the SARS coronavirus took about six to nine months uh, to come down. The Middle East respiratory coronavirus is still there after seven years. Um, it just comes and goes. Um, and it could be that this just comes back to being a virus that's always in the background and we see it flaring up every winter. Dr McCloskey, thank you very much indeed. I'm sure we'll talk further in the, the coming weeks and months, but for the moment, thank you very much. Thank